What's up guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and today this is episode 3 of the Newcastle United career mode content. Today I might actually, because what I did last episode is I actually cut some of the scenes, some of the boring bits out of the games against Aston Villa and West Bromwich Albion. So what I might try and do in future is actually try and get through three games every episode uh, dis discluding simmed games. But I'll, I'll, for this episode, what I'll do is I'll play this Sheffield United game, I'll simulate uh, this Birmingham game, and then I will play this Brighton game. But then in future, like hopefully next episode, we'll get through the whole month of September. Um, and still, hopefully, the episodes will only be about 40 minutes long. But that's what we're hoping for the future, if I do decide to carry on with edits. Um, and if you... Go back and watch last episode, you'll see that we did lose 2-1 to Aston Villa in the opening day. But we did get a 1-0 win at home to West Brom in the second day. Uh, second game, sorry, should I say. Uh, so today, our A team is going to be playing Sheffield United. Then our B team against Birmingham in the EFL Cup. And then, once again, our A team will be playing Brighton at home in the league. But first of all, we've got to try and get past Sheffield United in the league. So, let's hope we can do it. We're going to play in that kit. A lovely kit, if I do say so myself. And Sheffield United, obviously, in that one. So, we're going to get straight into this. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Right then. In the way training session. I don't... Okay. It's not a great sign. There's Las Ellis. He had disappeared for a second there. Alright, let's get straight into this opening encounter against Sheffield United Hello at Bramall Lane as well, also. Hopefully we can get the three points here, Sheffield United not the greatest side in the Premier League, proving that this season, although as I'm filming this the weekend that's just been, Sheffield United managed to pick up their first win against Newcastle United, um, their first win of the real life season, but hopefully today we can get the win on this and push aside maybe by a few goals, margin Sheffield United. Played out Lewis. Go try and set St. Maximan free. Quick feet. Get past the defender. Gives it to Almiron. To Almiron. Back to Wilson, Even who's here. completely turned his man. This could be 1 0. The shot is. Well, he, he's been blocked from taking the shot, unfortunately. Could have been a great. That was a great chance to go 1 0 up. Sadly, we couldn't do it. And I don't know why that hasn't gone through to Wilson, if I'm being honest with you. But it hasn't. And Sheffield United can come forward. Hendrick. Serdar. Across the field to Jamal Lewis. And that's. Because he held his run. He's held his run well, St. Maximan. Could he be in? The shot is blocked, but it's come out to Swatzer. Ah, what a ripper! What a finish by Swatzer. And it's only his third game for the club. And what a finish this was. From, was it outside the box? I'm pretty sure it looked like outside the box. And after 18 minutes, we have found the lead. What? I know it came off the defender, but outside the box, he took a touch. And the second strike, and the strike went into the back of the net. It was an absolutely beautiful goal. And I don't, it's not Ramsdale in goal, I'll give you that. Um, who I thought might be in goal, but he's not in goal, it's someone else. We have the lead at Bramall Lane. Can we now hold that lead and maybe even push for some more goals in this one? Back into Almiron, and there's a chance for a second. Serdar could get a brace. Serdar does get a brace. He's now our high. He's now our goal scoring. What's it called? He's he's now our lead goal scorer in the league. I know he's only got two, but it's more than Wilson. And we've only scored three goals. So Swat Serdar gets his second goal. He's got a brace at Bramall Lane, and we look like dominating Sheffield United here. If I'm being honest with you today. Not a problem. And what Almiron just relaxes the team if you've got plays the ball, it forward to Wilson. Could get a third here. Oh, Fotheringham. It is with the well, save. Wilson went near post. post. I thought he was going to go far post, but he didn't quite in the end. It's whipped in. And he's headed behind again for a consecutive corner here. Oh, what's Mankia doing? Tried to keep it up in the air. And now Magoldrick's been played in behind. Dubravka came out, smothered the ball well. 
Um, and what a shot. Uh, I mean, what a save, sorry. In fact, the corner. Whipped in. Dubravka comes out and punches it well. And Keogh into Wilson, who has played Almiron in behind. Is he continuing to be a fraud? No, he's not. That's our three-goal cushion. It is Miguel Almiron finally with so many chances this season, but he's finally converted one. And hopefully he can now push on and grab many, many more. It was a decent... I mean, it wasn't a difficult through ball. And Almiron just took his shot early enough so that the defender couldn't block it. That is the third goal. And I think the game is probably out of sight of Sheffield United now. Norwood Fleck. Back to Basham. Trying to break, break our defence down, not working. They're having to take different routes, but here they might. McGoldrick shot. Saved well by Dubravka. He's done very well this season. He's made a couple of really good stops. No, just heading it back to the goalkeeper. Mousse is tackled. And now Wilson. It might break to him. It has broken to him. And the shot is saved by Fotheringham. The game has kind of cooled off a little bit in the second half, but we are trying to find the fourth with two minutes to go in this one. See if we can increase our goal difference even more. That's headed miles over the bar by, I think it's Miguel Almiron. Actually, no, it's another corner, so... Don't want to get that. Oh, it's a handball. That's the third game in a row. Handball has come in handy for someone. The first game it was Aston Villa. Today, it was me and the game against West Brom we got a penalty as well which we converted and we have got a penalty here can Callum Wilson convert he's already converted a penalty this season oh and Fodderingham with a brilliant save dived the right way and Callum Wilson has unfortunately not scored yeah, I'm not sure which Longstaff, but Longstaff nonetheless. There we go. We do get the win. Uh, a big, big result away at Sheffield United. At one point, I looked like it, it looked like it might be five or six, but it's only the three-goal margin. But I'm happy with the win nonetheless. Um, Serdar obviously with the brace. Very happy with his performance, and also Almiron getting his first goal for the club after a few. Uh, fluke performances in previous encounters so we are without further ado going to get into this Birmingham City game I think we're gonna just get straight into it and I'm not gonna do anything else unless something pops up so uh, until then I'm gonna see you in just a few seconds time at the Birmingham game so we're ready to go into a visual sim against Birmingham City as you can see there the B team is ready to perform hopefully we can come out with the win obviously Dubravka in goal uh, I didn't fancy because Dubravka goalkeepers don't really lose energy as much so we've still got a few very good players on the pitch Fernandez, Fraser, Joe Linton, Dubravka obviously Richie pretty good as well so we should get past Birmingham but we'll see in this visual sim against them We'll see how we go. So, um, Birmingham City line up with a looks a pretty decent squad actually. Djukovic, Bella, Etheridge in goal, Clark, Salter. Uh, some pretty decent players in that Birmingham City squad. And hopefully and so the match we can. Uh, by the way, if it does end as a draw, I'll go in and play the penalty shootout because it will be a penalty shootout as it is the Carabao Cup. So we'll go and play a penalty and shootout if it ends a draw. That would be quite nice, but obviously I'd rather get the win guaranteed. And I'd rather my B team have a good performance. Matt Ritchie, the captain today. 
Oh, and I don't know. Oh, no. Birmingham City have scored. Birmingham City have scored against my B team, and it's not a great way to start. It's Sanchez with the goal. I think it's Carlos Sanchez. And it's Sunjik. Sunjik has picked up an injury, and they've had to make a sub. Hopefully we can get back into this one. 14 minutes in. Away from home is not a nice fixture to play. Never playing away from home is a nice fixture to play, especially against a ground like Birmingham City. Um... Very big atmosphere, and he could have had a second actually. Uh, 20 minutes on the clock, Birmingham could have found themselves 2 0 up and coasting in this one, but not to be. And we still have a decent shout at getting level. I think we're getting dominated in the midfield. From what I can see, we are getting dominated a little bit in the midfield. Um, none of my players really performing as of yet we haven't had a shot as you can see these match stats we've only had 36 percent of the ball as well which is never good we are getting a little bit further up the pitch as i speak though hopefully we can get it into the box and it is not hang on what was that number four doing all the way up there who is the number four Oh, the number four Mastery is Longstaff. Okay, Matthew Rashid Longstaff. Oh, they've got a free kick. Nah, I don't need to. I don't need to jump into a free kick really, as long as they don't score it. Oh, it's just over the bar. Fair enough. Oh, come on, wrong, wrong. we're approaching half time. We still haven't found the equaliser. We haven't even had a shot to, get to mention yet, really. Um, the attack promising as it Newcastle. was come on we can we can do this long staff our b team is still a decent squad and i've got very good faith in them but at the moment nothing's Fraser. really happening and that is half time just the one goal uh, to split the two teams Plenty and it has gone the way of birmingham city so but hopefully hopefully we can have a better half ends. better second half performance in obviously no shots the in the first half is very disappointing. We've nearly got the possession back to 50-50 where we have now and hopefully we can kick on now having more possession than them actually. Come on, come on, it's into the box. Yeah, there's the equaliser. It's Matthew Longstaff. Matthew Longstaff, you have my faith now. Here we go, 1-1 one, one with uh, just... I can't do my maths right now. Perfect. 33 minutes to go, to yeah. Thir just over half an hour left in this encounter. But, and it's 1-1 one, one it a, a piece. If it stays point. like this, it will be a penalty shootout. I uh, wouldn't mind that as long as we do go through. Although the Carabao Cup is not one of my expectations this season. Obviously, it doesn't really matter how we do in that. My focus is on the FA Cup. And I'll probably play the FA Cup games as well because that is quite an important trophy to win. We have got a corner, 20 minutes to go here. Is that a second corner in a row? It is. It's whipped in and the shot is just wide slash over. Come on. Come on, Newcastle. We've got to find the winner late on here. But Birmingham bringing it forward. Well tackled by number two. Who is... Not uh, I'll Any just keep it on the numbers for now. Number two, Kirian Clark with a good tackle there at the back. And now we bring it into the box with 15 minutes to go. The shot is sliced wide again. Uh, the best performing player on our team is Matthew Longstaff. Best performing player on the whole pitch, in fact. Um, 8.3 match rating there, as you can see. Federico Fernandez. All even, but will it Ryan Fraser not had the best uh, game. Oh, yes. Eight minutes to go. And it's the other Longstaff who have found... It's both of the Longstaffs have contributed to this scoreline. And we now lead away at Birmingham. Um, come on. Blow your whistle any minute now. Any minute now he'll be blowing his whistle. Although Birmingham come forward, but he's offside. Surely if we can keep the ball now... It will be full all all over, but they're bringing it forward, Birmingham. 
and it could be a last nervous few minutes. There's the full time whistle though. 53 minutes. We were worried at half time when we were 1 0 down, but 53 minutes, Matthew Longstaff. 83 minutes, Sean Longstaff. We do find the win in the end. As you can see, my beloved AFC Bournemouth also scraping home against Wickham 3 2 in that one. So we're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. I'll see who I am playing in just a second once I reply to Latsar. And outstanding scoring the winner there in that one, Sean Longstaff. So I will sim up to the Brighton game and I will see you in just a few minutes time. So we're at the Brighton game and I've just noticed one thing about their lineup. Someone that was on our shortlist, the CAM De La Cruz, is actually at Brighton now. And also Gonzalez is at Brighton. I'm pretty sure he was on the shortlist with Tyrese Campbell and Josh King and uh, Adam Armstrong. So we're going to get into this game against Brighton. I've made sure I've swapped it back to my A team. The draw hasn't been made for the next round of the Carabao Cup. Um, I'm assuming some teams haven't played yet. Uh, I, I also better tell you that we did actually get an offer for Isaac Hayden. And he is actually obviously on my starting eleven, And an offer from Real Sociedad, um, who bought Jack Grealish, I didn't think was acceptable enough. Uh, so we, I did actually reject that. It was an offer of just shy of £12 million, but I did reject it as I didn't think... Uh, because he's probably going to get up to an 80 rated by the time he's finished. So I went ahead and rejected that one. And, and hopefully you guys agree East with my... Um, uh, ...reasoning behind doing that. So, let's not dwell on the past with that offer for Isaac Hayden. We've got a game to win against Brighton. We are at home, so hopefully we can make it three wins out of three in this episode. And we get the ball rolling after two minutes. I think St. Maximum is offside. Yes, he is. And... Oh, I have actually done Dan Byrne, I'm pretty sure. It is. And it's a good ball into the box where Almiron's waiting and somehow he has returned to his form from the first two games and he's headed that over the bar. Well, wide actually, in fact. Disappointing really from him, but I can't really argue with it. I mean, I can argue with it, of course, because it was a decent opportunity, but... De La Cruz brings it forward and Dubravka's managed to... I don't know if it was Dubravka who put him off there, but somehow Morpai hasn't put that in the back of the net. Morpai, another shot straight at Dubravka. Well, not straight at him, but Dubravka saves it regardless. And it's a poor throw out. Well, it has come to Jamal Lewis anyway. So Maximan has got the pace to beat the Brighton back line. And he's got round them all. He can't quite convert it past Matthew Ryan in the Brighton net, sadly. And they do Could get it out. To switch the point of attack. Both teams going at it, to trying to pick here. up all three points as opposed to just Prepare. settling for the one each. Oh, and it's a handball for the fourth game in a row. Something has to do with handballs. And well, if it gets out of hand, the like there's so many handball incidents happening, like every game, uh, I will probably turn them off. But it's like, oh, that is a clear handball because Hayden has stuck his hands up. But... Can Gonzalez convert the penalty? He's put it over! 
Oh, Gonzalez, we've we've been handed a lifeline by the Brighton striker. I dived the wrong way. Just, it didn't even need to be a good penalty as long as it was on that half of the goal because I dived the wrong way. Manquillo's lost out. Gonzalez, can he make up for his mistake by contributing to a Brighton goal here? It's a great tackle by Lascelles, but it's going to come to Proper and he's chipped me just wide this is pressure from brighton the captain there trying to get in on the act davy proper wilson's played almer on through can we find the oh what a save by matthew ryan to deny almer on it wasn't a half deep it wasn't a half bad shot by almer on in truth it was just a very very good fingertip save by matthew ryan to deny us the goal Jeff Hendrick wimps it in. And it's whipped back in by Jeff Hendrick, headed out once again. And that is half time. It is nil nil. A missed penalty by Nicolas Gonzalez and a few opportunities at either end. But you'd probably say that it is a fair reflection, the scoreline as it is. And he's done well to find St. Maximan with a brilliant through ball. It's played and Ryan's. Punched it out, actually. Bissouma wins the 50-50 rather than Hendrix, sadly. Is one I, I look to get. Because I'd rather have nine points at the end of the episode rather than seven. Obviously. Almiron! Yeah, there we go! There's the lead. Almiron, second goal of the season for him. Brighton are disappointed now. A missed penalty in the first half by them. They're gonna, it looks like they're going to rue that missed opportunity to go in front now as Newcastle find the lead, the Toon Army, in the stadium, celebrating like they have just won a major trophy. You never know. We actually could be winning a major trophy come the end of this career mode. Almiron... He's held his run that time, Wilson. Back to Almiron. He's off the post. It comes to St. Maximan and he finishes. Maybe a bit of luck that it came to me off the post. But St. Maximan's goal. And we're so delighted that we found a second in this one against Brighton. Whew. Are we looking for three straight? Are we heading for three straight wins in the Barclays Premier League? And that, oh, I don't know if you guys saw, but the clearance, I think it was from Dan Byrne, actually came, touched Matthew Ryan's foot, which took it to St. Maximan. And we were lucky with that, but St. Maximan his, has his first goal in the Premier League. And we find ourselves two goals up against Brighton, and the game looks pretty much set. St. Maximan off now. Wilson, can we find a third in this one? Oh, it's a great tackle to try and win it back, but it's come to a Brighton man. And it should be a full-time whistle White. any second now. Ben White, why is he playing so far up the pitch? I don't care, as long as they don't score a goal. Although it is a foul, and they will actually have a free kick right at the end here. To try and... I'm going to put Longstaff here. Just to make sure... Oh no, it's a great ball. But Mop, I can't really do anything with it. That should be the full-time whistle any second now. It is the Toon Army 2, Brighton and Hove Albion nil. The Magpies win over the Seagulls in this burden counter, you could say. We managed to get the three points, and it does put us on nine points after four games in the Premier League. Very happy with how this episode has turned out today. We dominated Brighton in the second half. Not so much in the first, but in the second period. We just put the game to bed, really, with that two, with that second goal. We'll be finishing the transfer window next episode. I'm not going to sim any further in case I think of a last-minute signing that I want to play, that I want to uh, sign. But I don't think we will anyway, because we haven't really got any money. But that's where we're going to end the episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. As you can see there, fifth in the table, nine points after four games. We're doing very well indeed. But obviously, still a long way to go in the season. If we continue this form though, who knows where we might end up. 
So, if you've enjoyed it, go down below, smash the like button, hit that subscribe button as well, if you haven't already. Turn those post notifications on, so you never miss a video from me. But, I've been Hazard the Junior Cherry, and I'll see you in the next one.